It's what the slashers are subscribing to. What's inside the BAM Horror Box, the monthly horror subscription service. Brought to my doorstep is another BAM box from a rather suspicious looking character who apparently has been delivering mail around our neighborhood as of late. I swear to you, he's got glowing yellow eyes. Anyways, brushing a rather broad stroke across all BAM boxes, not even specifically just the horror variety, BAM drops off at your doorstep collectibles, prop replicas, and more importantly, autographs. It just so happens the ones that I'm the most interested in are the BAM Horror and the BAM Geek Box. Two, of course, that you see on this channel on a regular basis. And we're going to, of course, open up the newest box from BAM Horror and check out the contents inside, checking off all the boxes that I just finished saying. I swear to you, he had glowing yellow eyes. Anyways, let's go ahead and reach off to the side here and grab my trusty knife, Chet Cuddington the third. We're going to go ahead and make short work of this tape by slicing the front of it. First of all, it would be helpful if I grabbed the box here. BAM Box, by the way, is for fans by fans. And slicing the tape away from myself, away from myself, would be probably the best idea. Lifting up that you are also holding the ultimate collector's experience. Lifting up the flap, of course, so I can actually gain access to it. We don't need, I'm sure, this packing paper. Anybody? Still, I'm asking dibs for this packing paper. Nobody's buying it. Okay. Put that to the side. The first thing we're going to have a look at inside is a patch. A patch that I could put onto my denim jacket. As you can see, stitched on nicely is Bam Horror on the back. It sort of always has that kind of film that's on the back of it. But you can sew that on to like your arm, your shoulder. Not, not really your arm and your shoulder. I don't want anybody to be stitching a patch onto their real skin. Something like Leatherface would be doing. But yeah, you would want to be stitching it more on fabric. I really don't think it's something I have to express to you guys. Don't sew this onto your skin. Whatever you do. Please and thank you. Okay. Up next, inside, we've also got ourselves an issue of Rue Morgue. I am thrilled, first of all, that we are getting Rue Morgue now packed back inside these BAM boxes. Rue Morgue, now in our 24th year, 24 years that Rue Morgue has been putting out horror magazines. This one specifically is Witchery Madness and DIY, which I guess is do-it-yourself. Hellbender, alone with you inside and behind the scenes. I think what we will do is we'll open this up. Advertise, I always like looking on the back of these as well, is different kind of, uh, well, this is Arrow video. They're really good at releasing kind of out of circulation movies. If you find yourself a movie now being now distributed, most of the time it's usually either Shout Factory or it's Arrow video. Let's see what we got here on the back. Some of the ones that have caught my eye is The Woman. Uh, Death Screams, that seems like it's interesting. He wants your body in pieces. Sealed. Already, I'm done. Phantom of the Mall, not a great movie. Just watched that recently, actually. I think it was on Tubi, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, but let's go ahead and quickly flip through this. Boomer the Nerd, I think, believe ha believe has just recently now get in into the, uh, the Rue Morgue magazines. I don't know if he actually specifically has this one. But you know what? I'll provide the link down below in the video description if you guys want to check out Boomer the Nerds, Boomer the Nerds YouTube channel. Let's check out the contents inside here. We've got Candyman. Not a great movie. Malignant. Good movie. Oh, Suicide Squad Sunrise exclusive. Why do we keep looking at movies? Let's move on to the things also inside here. Now, coming in February is Zombie. Officially licensed collection. Let's see what else we got going on in here. We'll just quickly skim through this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. The Nun Dog Plush. Is this something you really want to be giving your dog? Something that could have possession inside of it? And stuffing. Stuffing and possession. Like 50-50. They put the stuffing in pretty much just to fill it out. Sometimes when you get yourself like a cheap burger, sometimes they put a lot of filler in there. It's not all just possession. It's 50-50 possession and like stuffing. I think it's like cotton batting and stuff. Well, that's a little hard to read. That is... Is it Whales of Munstery and... Imagination. <laughs> I would have chosen maybe a simpler to read font myself, but what do I know? I don't produce magazines, not yet at least. The Horror Art Prints and Posters by Rue Morgue, cover artist Rob Birchfield. And we'll see what else is going on here. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on, but I'm again, just kind of quickly rushing through this. I'll certainly spend a lot more time on this a little bit later on. Confessions of a Puppet Master. Puppet Master films. Boy, they just keep going with those, don't they? 
Yeah, lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff and more advertisements for movies. Jack Frost, the collector's edition. Jack Frost 2, Revenge of the Mutant Killer Snowman. Jack Frost 2, abysmal. If I would just describe that movie with a word, it would be abysmal. See what else we have going on in here. We've got ourselves the BAM Authentic Certificate of Authenticity. It's a fan art print. Let's see what the art print is of. Oh, Hereditary. I have finally gotten around to watching Hereditary. This would have been about several months ago. Finally got the chance to watch it. Very unsettling ending to it. But overall, a really good movie about witchcraft. If you ever get the chance to watch it, Hereditary, I would recommend. I would recommend. Nice art print, though. It has been signed, by the way, up the top corner. And it also has listed down below that a limited run of 3,000 copies. This one happened to be 1450 I would suspect that this would probably also be our autograph. Let's see what we've got for the autograph. Oh, we've got Charlie Chiodo, and we've got Edward Elmodo. Oh, and we also have another autograph. There's three autographs on here. Not one, not two, but a trifecta of autograph prints. Killer Clowns from Outer, outer, outer Space. Outer Space. I don't know how I had such, such a tough time getting that out. It's got the little stamp down below. Nothing on the back, but uh, let's see who goes along with that autograph. Uh, we've got, first of all, bam, where's my pin? The pins are stuck, and we have a rescue party at retrieving them. We will send them out to you as soon as we can. Okay, that's okay. I don't mind. A little bit of delay, but if you give me a friendly heads up, just to kind of give you behind the scenes that we are working on this, I'm good with that. That's more than enough for me. The BAM box presents the February monthly giveaway, a signed Paul P a Rawl Polson uh, from Pinky and the Brain, signed Anthony Starr from The Boys, that would be nice, and signed Nev Campbell from The Craft, not Scream. But the craft. Didn't really like the craft. How do you win? First of all, you can scan this QR code. Winners will be announced 022422. So I think we are a little behind, by the way. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of which, this just reminded me 022422. Did anybody take part in the 2222 challenge? Uh, that was the challenge, by the way, that it wasn't even so much a challenge. I just declared it upon myself that it was going to be a challenge for myself. You had to actually stop the time. On February 2nd, or February 22nd, 2022, at 2.22. That was the two, I guess the 22 challenge. I, it was like the February 2 challenge. I don't even know if I have a proper name for it yet. I did one better, and I did actually share it to Twitter. Nobody cares. I know the story I'm just t saying right now. Nobody cares about this at all. Shared it to Instagram, shared it to Twitter. Not only did I do February 22nd, 2022, at 2.22, but I actually did it at 10.22 at night at 22 seconds. If you just, I know right now your mind is, I'm sure, blown. If you just did that all in your head, the math for that, that would be 0 2, 22, 20, 22, 22, 22, and 22 seconds. I'm very proud of myself. You got to set goals in life. And that was a goal that I had in front of me. And it was something I was willing to do. And I did it. 10 minutes later of telling about everybody about that. Here's the autograph, by the way. The band featured celebrity known for killer clowns, killer clowns from outer space and fairy tale theater and monsters are the Chiodo brothers. They are responsible for the, well, they're the actors and makeup. All three of them, all three of them signed said print, which just in case everybody has short term memory, that's what the print looked like. Signed, 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 which actually, now that I look at it, it's not El Modo. They're all Chiodo. They're all the Chiodo brothers. It's really interesting how autographs all differ from one person to the other. Everybody has their own unique signature. Again, my signature sort of looks like you've given a pen to a chicken and then sort of chased it across the paper. It's just disastrous. But that's who signed this. It's the Chiodo Brothers. And the last thing we have inside is the join the, the family, the BAM family. Follow us on the latest BAM news sneak peeks, box teasers, and more. Follow us over on BAM Box in the various different social media provided, like Facebook, like Twitter, like Instagram, like YouTube. What's that last one? Is that TikTok? I think that's if you just want to reach out and call somebody. I guess that would be a telephone. Disregard that. You can also follow them over on their podcast, BMCST. Check out our fa Facebook community, the official BAM outpost for all things buy, sell, and trade. Then for the February box for 2022, the artist alley, we got a hereditary thing, a hereditary print. It's not a thing. Don't dismin don't diminish it. It's a print. It's lovely. It reminds me of how creepily disturbing the end of that movie is. Hereditary. Recommend. Collector's pin set would have been a cabin in the woods. And I'm really looking forward to when they eventually send these out. I hope I get this one. I'm just saying it now. I mean, both are good. 
I'm holding out hope for this one. Everybody, please. Room Org Magazine, featuring a BAM exclusive cover and celebrity autograph, the Chiodo Brothers from Killer Clowns. Pins are designed, by the way, by Addie Caterley. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And the art print is designed by Joshua Johnson. That was a lot easier to say. And there also, by the way, was a Chase variant art print. I kind of like the more cleaner looking polished way they presented the card here. Sometimes simple is best. You don't need to busy things up so much. I think that works quite well. But yeah, today we were having a look at the January 2022 box. Not quite February, and it wasn't the two challenge. Still don't know the name for that challenge. Totally did it. 0-2, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22. The last 22 were 22 seconds. So proud of myself. Post on Twitter, post on Instagram, goal met. If your goal certainly would be to subscribe and get memorabilia from horror films, look no further. You can subscribe by clicking the link down below that will take you onto BAM Box's website. And from there, choose the best BAM Box for you. It doesn't have to necessarily be horror. I just like the stuff that's horror myself. But if you prefer something different from BAM, believe you me, there's a BAM Box best for you. Also, again, if you'd like to subscribe to Boomer the Nerd, I'll provide the link down below. He's down and he's into the Rue Morgue magazine right now. Check out his channel, Boomer Nerd. Also, if you guys, speaking of subscribing, if you guys are new here and you're enjoying the content that you're seeing as I continue to hold this blank card in front of the camera, if you guys are enjoying the content, you can do a couple of things. You can subscribe to this channel. Yes. You can hit that bell notification. Yes. And again, you can keep your papers peeled. While we have wrapped up things right now for the BAM box, there will be other unboxings coming your way. So of course, always keep your papers peeled. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.